I'm Jerry James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone. And on today's episode, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make like a 4th of July grilled cheese. It's a you know, I it's no surprise I like a good grilled cheese sandwich. You probably have seen my roasted cranberry grilled cheese sandwich or my guacamole grill, grilled cheese sandwich. If not, you should definitely check those out. But I like a good grilled cheese and I like one that's sort of off the beaten path. So this one's actually gonna use a strawberry compote and fried blueberries. So it's a good 4th of July, you know, freedom uh, grilled cheese sandwich. And I think you're really going to like it. Um, on another note, something I want to talk about quickly, I've gotten a lot of people who've messaged me on YouTube and Twitter because of the whole Paula Dean fiasco thing saying, oh, you know, you should have a show on the Food Network. And I just want to say thank you. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. I like what I do. I love doing this channel. Um, I appreciate people reaching out to me and saying that. Personally, I have no idea if what Paula Dean said was, you know, if the accusations are correct or not. All I do know is that I've been more offended by Paula Dean's food than anything she's ever actually said. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Now let's get to the grilled cheese. I'm going to start by making um, our strawberry compote. So that takes one cup of cubed strawberries, which is about just 10 strawberries. We added a tablespoon of, um, actually two tablespoons of sugar. And then one tablespoon of white balsamic vinegar. And then we're just going to be, we're going to cook that down. The strawberries are starting to cook down nicely and they're just beginning to kind of lose their structure there. I'm going to let them go just for about a minute longer. Um, so if you're wondering why I used uh, white balsamic here, and the reason is, is I wanted to use the balsamic vinegar because it's a grilled cheese sandwich, which, you know, is just cheese. So it's all fatty and I mean, it's great. I love a grilled cheese, don't get me wrong, but having something to sort of cut that cheese to sort of, you know, so it doesn't become too heavy is always nice. And, you know, fruit is a good part of that, but the vinegar will sort of cleanse the palate a little bit. Vinegar also, balsamic vinegar also complements strawberries rather well. If you've never had them on a salad, you should definitely try it. Uh, the difference between white balsamic and regular balsamic vinegar is that regular balsamic vinegar is cooked down to like the grape sugars from uh, in regular balsamic are cooked down to the point where they caramelize and they get all gooey. Um, white balsamic is cooked at a higher pressure, so that's not actually allowed to happen. Also, regular balsamic vinegar is aged for like up to 20 years, where white balsamic vinegar is maybe aged a year. So um, the flavors are definitely similar. It all comes from the same grape, but the main difference is is that balsamic vinegar is a lot gooier and heavier than white balsamic. White balsamic is, you know, a lot lighter. And so I just wanted enough to add um, some brightness to these strawberries, but not so much that they are become even heavier or even more syrupy than I'm already making them. So these are about done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and let's make the blueberries. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make um, the blueberries. So to start with, the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of warm a few fresh sprigs of oregano in a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to give these blueberries, I'm going to fry them in this olive oil, but I want to give it a little bit of flavor um, before doing that. That's the whole point. So just go ahead and warm up the uh, oregano in there. You can sort of tell when it's ready because the, you can just smell it. I mean, it becomes really aromatic from being cooked in this olive oil. And then as that's warming, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. And we're not gonna add this oregano to the grilled cheese, so you can just kind of leave it in there. And now I'm gonna add in uh, two thirds of a cup of blueberries. So these are starting to fry. You can tell when they're starting to fry because I don't know if you can see it there, but they just start to stain the pan. Um, so you just continue to fry those. You don't have to do it very long, but once they're continually frying, staining the pan, then they're ready. Blueberries are so great because they have, even though they're sweet, they actually have a nice earthy, uh, savoriness to them, which is why, I don't know if you saw my blueberry, uh, barbecue sauce, but so as you can see there, it's really, the pan's really getting stained, so they're, they're ready to go. But blueberries actually, quote, go quite well in stuff like this. Now we're going to apply the strawberry compote to one slice of each sandwich. Um, 
it's okay if you want to eat some along the way because the stuff's pretty freaking tasty and I won't tell if you don't. Let's get it kind of evenly spaced out there. Now on the other slices, we're gonna put our fried blueberries. These are just gorgeous. And I'm gonna steal a few of these too. They're pretty tasty. Now we're gonna pile on the white cheddar. You can never have too much cheese, right? Well, maybe you can, but that's what spanks are for. Just keep on piling it on there. And now we're just gonna put this in the broiler until the cheese melts. Now just go ahead and grill it in your skillet or whatever until it's golden brown on each side. So here it is, I hope you enjoy it. I know I'm going to.